Hello. Also this year, Munich University of Applied Sciences, Computer Science and Mathematics Department coordinated the second year of the Secure Web Application Seminar. However, it was set up by one of our university partners, University of Glamorgan in Pontybrid, close to Cardiff. University of South Wales uh, is the premier uh, university uh, in Wales with 33,000 students uh, at the Department of Computing and Mathematical Sciences. Uh, we have about 800 students, uh, about half of them working in computer security and computer forensics. Um, computer security and computer forensics is a, a very significant growth area uh, in terms of computing technology as we use computers for more and more things. Uh, transferring personal information, storing uh, information that might be sensitive. Our task as a coordinators in 2013 were similar as in 2012. Plan the two weeks of the seminar. It began in October 2012 with a meeting at the, our university partner, University of Padua. They were established the final agenda of this seminar. It was quite a lot of work to do. Like for instance, announce the course in the classes and the university websites. Prepare the selection criteria. Prepare the, and distribute the preliminary exercises which all the professors had the pleasure to correct it afterwards. Distribute the reading material. Collect the presentation and teaching material from every professor in every university. Collect the lab assignments, which every professor had to prepare. Do you believe that they were just a couple of emails? Far from it. And finally, we had to prepare the social program to give the EU students a taste of the beautiful whales. The structure of the agenda were twofold. First week, vulnerability and protection of web publications. I belong to the communication department from the University of Cantabria. Uh, my expertise uh, is the cloud computing. And after this course, the students are able to solve the three main questions that all the software companies ha uh, have to uh, answer. Uh, what protect? Uh, why maintain this protection? And the most important thing, how to obtain a real protection? The second week, network security aspects. My fields of expertise are in network and data center infrastructure. Here in Clamorgan, I will teach uh, how to secure the perimeter and access to data center and applications.
Why did we structure the seminar? Into vulnerability and protection of web applications, as well as network security. Because these are skills which employers and companies around the world desperately need. Apart from this, all involved EU professors contributed to at least one day of teaching and lab advising. I'm here on behalf of the University of Padova. I'm an expert on biometrics, which means uh, taking the unique characteristic of uh, human and uh, embedding it into secure uh, mechanisms. We built an um, environment for e-health applications, but furthermore they can be used also in securing networks and web applications. Frederick University has established a leading role in the fields of engineering and applied sciences in Cyprus. Our department has uh, two laboratories established in the field of mobile devices and uh, computational intelligence, which are directly related to the domain of uh, security and web security. My expertise is in systems optimization, and uh, in this IP I teach students how to integrate and secure third-party software into their web applications. As a matter of fact, we do believe that the necessary theory had to be combined with quite a lot of hands-on exercises, especially the lab assignments carried out in uh, international teams can contribute to build the social skills of the students in cooperation with the other EU students. And therefore hosting an intensive programme under the Erasmus scheme uh, where students from across Europe come together and work together uh, not only gives the students a chance to understand things from a, an international perspective but it gives their, their tutors and their lecturers and their professors uh, a chance to work together and to coordinate things together and to really see how the things that we're doing impact uh, Europe as a whole. The university works with the UK government and commercial defence contractors in anticipating and objectifying new IT security threats. One recent project would be the Devise project, which is a IT security visualisation framework for uh, IT security threats. I'm specialized in computer networks and network management. I contributed to the second week with the presentation of the next generation of intrusion prevention system. This is considered as a last defense layer of securing the computer network. As a case study, I was part of the team presenting security enhancement of mobile medical networks for telehealth applications. Okay, fine, Gareth. We'll do so. See you. Bye. Coordinators have to spend quite a lot of extra work besides their usual job, which is not paid, of course. Just to give you a clue of my duties for this Erasmus IP. First of all, I have to register 70 students from six different countries. Second, I have to arrange the logistics. This year, it means who comes, when and how from London to Cardiff and prepare all the travel information for all the 70 students and 20 professors. Otherwise, nobody would know what trains and buses to take. What is not really fun, but an absolute must, is the administration of the EU fund. 
At the end of the IP, I have to reimburse the costs, which means to transfer the EU funds to every partner university, sometimes even to each individual student or professor. Next step, I have to do the final calculations. And of course, I have to write a long report for Brussels with the results of the kickoff meeting, of the preliminary exercises, of the exams, of all the students' evaluations, of the budget allocation process, of the distribution of the teaching material and of the dissemination, public relations results. Now you had a glimpse behind the scenes of such an Erasmus IP. And I'm sure you realized it is much more than just teaching EU students and advising them in their lab classes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I came here to meet interesting international people. And I came here because I'm interested in the topic of web application security. I came here to listen to lecturers who are experts in their fields and gain their knowledge. Today is my last year. day here. I think I came back to my university with new knowledge and new friends. Previously I also studied logistics and there I was studying, uh, among other things, RFID technology more on a business perspective and I had a huge impression that ambitious computing, which is part of the literature about RFID will be a big topic in the future and web technology is more or less the glue between RFID technology and computer technology. So I was thinking, okay, why not take this course? <laughs> Rob, David, Andrea, one guy's missing, but let's Let's just get it this final final assignment true. Um, what you can see here, this is the server. I just want to point out, when it begins with student at Ubuntu 12, it means that uh, I'm working on the server. The exam is multiple choice, but you have to make the right choice. <laughs> There were more than 40 questions. And of course, these exams had to be corrected by somebody. Only then can the students get the grading and the European credit points called ECTS. Congratulations to all those who received the Erasmus IP certificate. It proves that you gained expertise in secure web applications and your ability to work in an international context. The University of Applied Sciences in Munich is proud to announce that we will also coordinate the third Erasmus IP in 2014. The topic will be secure web applications again. The program will take place at our partner University of Cantabria in Santander in Spain. One thing is for sure. These EU-funded Erasmus IPs are a big step on the road to create the Erasmus IP generation. Really European and open-minded citizens. <laughs>